News. The woman accused of leaving her husband lying on the floor for days is in court while the defense wants her trial delayed. Plus, when you'll start paying more for parking fines in Lexington. And UK football is gearing up for its home opener. Everything you need to know before heading to Kroger Field. Thanks for joining us on Mid Morning. I'm Victor Puente. And I'm Destiny Quinn. We've got one more day with these hot temperatures. Alexa, I think we're all ready for a cool down. Yeah, I certainly am. We've been dealing with 90 degree days day after day for parts of this week. And our sunshine right now is going to kind of help keep that going for just a little bit longer. At this moment in time, we're already in the 80s for many of our forecasts. Right now, we see a 79 in Danville, 83 in Lexington, 82 in Mount Sterling. Folks, these toasty temperatures are going to stick around for just a little bit longer and we're not the only ones noticing the heat. In fact, the heat goes even farther north than us for some of our friends in Indiana, Ohio, stretching over to our friends in Pittsburgh, giving them a 77. But if you're a fan like fall, because I know I'm a huge fall fan, there's a little bit of a cold pool kind of looming off in the distance. It's eventually going to catch up to us and knock us down temperature wise. So be ready for us to switch up our temperature scheme going from the mid 90s for our forecast today to by the time we're looking towards your Labor Day home holiday. We're going to see temperatures in the upper 70s. So a big switch up for our forecast is in store. Got a little rain in between. Stick with me. I'll give you another look at that full forecast breakdown. Tell you when you need to grab your umbrella for this holiday weekend. Victor and Destiny. Thanks, Alexa. The defense in the case of a Lexington woman accused of killing her husband wants to delay the trial. Well, prosecutors say Carol Hignite attacked her husband, he, Leon, and left him lying on the floor for days. The case went to trial in Fayette County in 2022. The jury couldn't reach a verdict. The new trial is set for October. A judge is hearing the motion this morning. We will work to keep you updated on the hearing on air and online. A grand jury indicted a man accused in a road rage shooting. Police say Joseph Brewer shot Jaden Jackson back in July. Jackson was shot twice in the chest. He survived. Brewer is charged with assault. A not guilty plea was entered at his arraignment earlier this month. He's due back in court September 23rd. Loved ones are mourning a Georgetown father who died in a bicycle crash. Jonathan Hensley was hit and killed by a car on Ironworks Road in Georgetown Sunday. He leaves behind his wife and two children. Jess Toes is a family friend. She says she can't believe he's gone. I don't even know how you wrap your mind around that, that you're just out for a bike ride and, you know, you never come home. He was also like just a really, really great dad. He took care of the kids all the time, a great husband. Toast says she and Hensley's wife take comfort in reading incoming messages and knowing how loved he was. Businesses in Frankfurt are worried about the impact of a bridge closure. The area around their Broadway bridge has been closed since a large section of it fell off. Captain Nathan Deppenbrock with the Bourbon Boat Tours says each of his 25 tours have been affected in some way. Two lock and dam tours are at a standstill. If we can't go through the lock and dam, we can't sell a tour called a lock and dam tour. And so we've had a lot of people say that's the whole reason we were coming was to do that. We'll just take our money back. According to the state, crews are in the bidding process for the bridge demo. Frankfurt Emergency Management expects the river's closure will be extended past September 6th. Laurel County deputies are looking for a missing man. 27 year old Griffin Katabayashi was last seen July 29th in the park and ride lot in London. He's 5'11", 160 pounds with brown hair above the ear. He could be driving a silver Honda Civic. If you know where he is, call the Laurel County Sheriff's Office. A garage is destroyed after a fire in Lexington. Crews responded to the area on Cortland Drive last night around 1145. The building and a car inside are a total loss. No one was hurt. They're still trying to figure out the cause. Parking fines in Lexington are increasing starting Sunday. Citations will go from 15 to $25. The Herald Leader reports that monthly rates will also rise for the Transit Center and the Helix. Lex Park told Lexington's Council they need more revenue to maintain aging parking garages. Those changes go into effect September 1st. Kentucky football is kicking off its season. Their home opener is tomorrow night. Lucy Bryson is at Kroger Field to tell us some of the changes this year. Well, we are just a bit over 24 hours away from that 7.45 p.m. kickoff that's going to be happening tomorrow. Guys, Kentucky football is back tomorrow, and I'm sure there are plenty of eager fans that are so ready to get back here to Kroger Field. It's looking pretty quiet right now, pretty beautiful, and it's going to be surely hustling and bustling tomorrow as things are going to get stirring up in just a bit over 24 hours. But if you do come here to Kroger Field, you are going to see some interior and exterior changes. For starters, bus parking has moved to 
two different locations. The primary location is on University Drive. The secondary is on Stadium View Drive. One parking lot will be under construction and unusable. The northeast end of the orange lot will be out of commission due to the construction of the new USDA building. Tailgating is also going to be limited there. And finally, Farm Road will not be accessible throughout the duration of the season for vehicles or for on foot traffic. These are some changes to the outside of the stadium, but inside will also have some new additions to that. And for those who plan on watching the game from the comfort of their own home or they have just a little bit of time to rest before coming here to Kroger Field, if you've got an afternoon that is free and open on at one o'clock on WKYT. You can join us for an all blue preview just ahead of that season opener and make your Saturday full of Kentucky football. That's going to be coming on right here on WKYT at one for now in Lexington. I'm Lucy Bryson WKYT. Lucy, thank you. And tonight Wildcat fans will get to see the first game at the newly renovated Memorial Coliseum. The university shared photos earlier this month showcasing those state of the art upgrades. The Coliseum is home to UK's women's basketball, volleyball, gymnastics, and stunt teams. UK Volleyball's home opener is tonight at 630 against Northern Kentucky. It's the first of three home matches this weekend, all part of the Bluegrass Battle. A walking bridge over the Ohio River is now open after months of repairs. The Purple People Bridge reopened yesterday after passing inspection. It closed in May after a piece of sandstone fell. It'll close Sunday and reopen Monday for the River Fest fireworks. A new distillery is coming to Central Kentucky. During yesterday's Team Kentucky briefing, Governor Andy Bashir welcomed Saga Spirits Group to Woodford County. They're developing a new $92.5 million distillery on a 150-acre site in Versailles. The project will create nearly 90 jobs. The site will include a distillery, an interactive visitor center, a tasting room, lodging, a restaurant, retail, and event space. It's going to be a great destination for bourbon enthusiasts, tourists, and Kentuckians. The development is also expected to bring improvements to the Kentucky Castle and a new hotel. Happening now, leaders are breaking ground on a new Kroger Marketplace in Lexington. It'll be in Newtown Springs next to an Amazon facility. The plan includes a 122,000 square foot store with a drive through for the pharmacy and a spot for grocery pickup. It'll also have a gas station. It's slated to open in spring of 2026. The heat is impacting local youth sports. In Madison County, one soccer club canceled practices countywide. Madison United had planned later start times for practices all week. As WKYT's Jeremy Toms reports, they made the decision with player safety in mind. Every year, Madison United Soccer Association seeks to do exactly what's in their name, bringing kids from around the county together to share their love of the sport. We have 35 fields between Berea and Richmond. We have 1,100 players on our team. We have over 150 coaches. Those fields should be a hub of activity on any given August afternoon. But all was quiet at the Lake Reba Park pitches on Thursday. We would have um, so many practices right now between select and rec. With temperatures reaching levels they deem dangerous, they canceled all activities across the county. It's a decision that an organization of their size doesn't take lightly with the fall season in full swing. Obviously, we want to practice. We want to practice. We want to get better. We want to learn those skills. We want to have fun. But number one priority for MUSA is safety. It was a no-brainer for Katie Grayson, a board member of the association who has three of her own little ones, who'd be taking on that heat. Every decision that we make um, for their safety is weighed heavily on what do we want for our children. With temps climbing high again tomorrow, they'll have another decision to make soon as a club. But for those who will go out and endure the summer sun, Grayson also has some words of advice. Drinking water before the weekend games come up can make or break whether or not you are going to feel sick on the field. Starting now before the games, if you have a game on Friday, start now. Make sure you get that nutrition and make sure you get that hydration in. In Richmond, Jeremy Toms, WKYT. Coming up on WKYT Midmorning, fake money tracked down in a Kentucky county. Why police say prop money is different from counterfeit bills. Plus, while we have started off our day with lots of sunshine, we are tracking some rain in our forecast. I'll time out your Labor Day weekend forecast in just a few more moments. 
Be weather aware while you're being social. Like WKYT on Facebook and watch live first alert weather forecasts every weekday. Sponsored by Bryant Heating, Cooling, Plumbing and Electric. The Festival of the Horse. Best of the Bluegrass is back September 6th through the 8th in downtown Georgetown, Kentucky. Enjoy three days of parades, vendors, music and family fun. Visit festivalofthehorse.org for more information. Beat the heat at Don Franklin, where prices are dropping. Get up to $4,000 off select 2024 Nissan Rogue models, or choose from select 2024 Nissan Altima models. Starting at 24-8, hurry into Don Franklin Nissan, driven by family. For over 25 years, Lovesack has been rewriting the rules of comfort. It's okay to change your style. It's okay to change your mind. and to change things up. Get messy. Get immersed. With Lovesack, you make the rules. We're adding big flavor and great value to your day with the Pick of the Pit combos at Sonny's Barbecue. Make your perfect plate with Pick 2 or Pick 3 meats, two sides and bread. Sonny's Barbecue, local pit masters since 68. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in a car accident, call America's largest injury law firm. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients, to deliver more for you. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. There's so many ways to turn your house into your dream home. From creating your new favorite room in the house, to screening in your back porch, to covering your patio, and so much more. Save 30% today. Call 888-4CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. The biggest sale of the year is here at Kimber Home Furnishings, our Labor Day sale. Kimber is offering you up to 50% off store-wide, up to 50% off, plus up to five full years interest-free and bonus in-store coupons for even more savings. Unbeatable offers from the family you've trusted for over 60 years. Only at Kimber's in London and Somerset, Kimber makes it home. The Festival of the Horse. Best of the Bluegrass is back September 6th through the 8th in downtown Georgetown, Kentucky. Enjoy three days of parades, vendors, music, and family fun. Visit festivalofthehorse.org for more information. Live, local, trusted. Follow WKYT News on Instagram. Welcome back. A new Supreme Court decision is causing a setback for the Biden administration's student debt relief plan. The court decided, that, at least for now, the latest multi-billion dollar plan cannot take effect. The Education Secretary says despite the rulings, the Biden administration has forgiven more than $170 billion for more than 5 million American borrowers. He says the battle to keep going is not over. The Supreme Court and uh, lower courts also have rejected some of the plans, which we disagree with. But we're going to continue fighting for borrowers. There are millions of Americans right now that need a little bit of support. College debt shouldn't be a life sentence. The critics say any plan to forgive student loan debt is unfair to millions who repaid their loans and simply transferring the debt to taxpayers. One person is seriously hurt after a motorcycle crash in Somerset. Crews say a pickup truck and a motorcycle crashed on Valley Station Drive. One of the drivers was airlifted from the scene. We don't know their condition. A man is accused of shooting and killing his girlfriend in Leslie County. Deputies responded to a mobile home on Cutshin Road around 3 yesterday morning. Police say William Pennington shot Mary Andrews. He's charged with first degree manslaughter. We're learning more about fake movie money being used in Letcher County. Jenkins police say two teens used $20 replica bills to pay at Paco's Mexican restaurant Monday. Compliance and enforcement director Chris Anderson says the teens are paying the money back and working to make it right. He says the money used is not being considered counterfeit. It's a novelty. You can, you know, I, I think you can get some of this stuff off of uh, Amazon, Timu, TikTok, places like that. And it says on it that it's for motion picture purposes. That's where you get into the difference of what is counterfeit and what's not. Counterfeit money is money that is made to look like real money. Anderson says to pay attention to any bills given to you. Two people reported missing after a fire have been found safe. Officers in Jenkins say Tyler and Alicia Newsom's home caught on fire Monday. They were found at a another home nearby. Now, WKYT First Alert Weather with meteorologist Alexa Mitten. 
Well, folks, we've started off our day with a lot of sunshine, and you want to take advantage of it now because we're getting ready to see things switch up in parts of our forecast, especially once we take a step back, we can kind of get a better image of what's to come. Now, right now, there's quite a bit of cool and chilly air behind this line where there's a lot of moisture, and it's making a good pace to come towards parts of Kentucky. Folks, we can expect some thunderstorms as soon as the dinner time hours for our day today, and then that's going to take us all throughout our Saturday even into parts of your Sunday for your forecast. So you got one last 90 degree day today before that rain really works its magic and tries to cool us back down to that fall like feel. But we are tracking those storm chances increasing consistently from now through our Sunday. So you will get your fall like feel eventually, but man, those temperatures today, 95 in Lexington. Some areas could go towards the upper 90s, like 97 in Danville, 97 in Richmond around the four o'clock hours. Definitely going to be a toasty day. But once we track it in our hour by hour forecast, it kind of makes sense because as we head towards parts of our afternoon and evening, you can see those temperatures climb and then at five o'clock, we add in that rainfall, it tries to knock us down, and that's the start of a little bit of a cooling pattern for our region. Now, not everyone's going to see a drop of rain. You can see the system itself is organized, like it covers Kentucky, but it's still scattered and isolated in between. So getting locally heavy at some portions of our skies, but not for everyone. Even in parts of the overnight around like 8 o'clock, you can kind of see heavy rainfall just north of Frankfurt. Richmond staying entirely dry, but then heavy rain again for our friends in Somerset and London. That rain's going to persist even to parts of our Saturday, starting off our morning calm, but then that rain rolls in past the 8 o'clock hour. And folks, right now it's looking like we're going to end up having a rainy forecast for our Saturday kickoff for the UK home opener. I know, so it's looking like it's going to be thunderstormy all throughout game time. So go ahead, grab that rain poncho. I know you can't bring an umbrella with you, but you'll definitely want something to keep you dry as we cheer on our Wildcats because it is going to be quite a rainy evening for our Saturday. So today, steamy, stormy, 94. Definitely stay hydrated all day long. Afternoon and evening is when we're going to start to track some of those rain showers pushing into parts of our region. Tonight, it persists, but we start to cool down. In the overnight, what you're not going to notice is that there's a cold front pushing over us, trying to knock us down temperature-wise, and you really kind of catch on to it on our Saturday because we go from 94 today to tomorrow. We're going to be seeing an 84 for our temperatures. Now, Saturday, consistent rain all day, but it's not a washout. You'll just have a few, like, pop up breaks in between parts of your forecast and they could get locally heavy at some times. Once we wrap up all of that rainfall, we dry out Sunday afternoon, Monday, your Labor Day holiday. It's actually looking beautiful. I mean, highs, upper 70s, a little bit of sunshine. I don't know if upper 70s is warm enough to maybe spend your last day by the pool, but I think uh, if we really focus little. in, you probably could still do it because it is a last pool day for many people, right? Hey, I'll make it work. There's sunshine. That's <laughs> fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll I guarantee be fine. you my kids would get in and then yeah. 20 minutes later. Just, just be ready. I was going <laughs> to say, like, have a sweatshirt or something just uh -huh. in case it's a little too chilly. Okay. Thanks, Alexa. There's something sinister going down in apartment 7A, and the late Carl Weathers receives one of Hollywood's biggest honors. Plus, Dennis Quaid takes on a role of presidential proportions. Tanya Backus has your eye on entertainment. I will be frank with you that as a citizen, I would not like to see any political party outlawed on the basis of its ideology because I still believe, Mr. Chairman, that democracy can handle it. Dennis Quaid plays the nation's 40th president in the new film Reagan. The movie follows Ronald Reagan from his small town upbringing in Illinois to the White House with a stop in Hollywood. Hello, I'm Nancy Davis. Hello, Nancy Davis. I'm Ron Reagan. Reagan is in theaters today. I came here for one reason, to make something of myself. Julia Garner stars as an ambitious young dancer with dreams of fame and fortune in New York City in 1965. She's taken in by an older, wealthy couple after being injured in the psychological thriller Apartment 7A. We want to help. The place is yours if you want it. Garner's character soon learns things aren't what they seem in apartment 7A or the Bramford apartment building, which is the setting for the later film Rosemary's Baby. Diane Weist and Kevin McNally co-star. Apartment 7A arrives on Paramount Plus September 27th. Carl Weathers! The newest star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame goes to the late athlete, actor and director Carl Weathers. I want the whole world to see me destroy this man after two short rounds. Following his stint as a linebacker for the Oakland Raiders, Weathers appeared in the first four Rocky movies as Rocky's nemesis Apollo Creed. He was also a successful cattle rancher. 
Weathers died this past February at age 76. That's your Ion Entertainment, Donya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles. I want to see the Reagan movie. Dennis that, Quaid's so good. Like Dennis Quaid a lot, and I'm very happy to see Carl Weathers get that. Yes. There's so many things that I just absolutely love. Very um, deserving. Predator, Rocky, mm -hmm. uh, Happy Gilmore. Yeah, classics. Oh, right. Coming up on WKYT, look at today's top health stories, including why a weekend nap is good for your heart. Here's a look at your lottery jackpots. Tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $627 million. Saturday night's Powerball jackpot is $69 million. The Community Trust Pike County Bowl is coming to CW Lexington this Friday. The George Rogers Clark Cardinals are heading from Winchester to Eastern Kentucky to battle the Bell Free Pirates. Game on for high school football. George Rogers Clark. Bell Free. Watch the Community Trust Pike County Bowl Friday night at 830 on CW Lexington. WKYT, we are live, local, trusted. But it's not just a slogan, it's a promise. A promise to bring you the latest news, weather, sports, and traffic in a live newscast. We are committed to delivering local news that matters to you where you live. And we are committed to keeping your trust by delivering news without a filter and no spin. We are proud to be your news choice. For nearly 70 years. WKYT Live Local Trusted. First alert traffic only on WKYT. Sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is open this weekend only for our big Labor Day sale. Get the lowest prices on the biggest brands, like this all wood bed for only $2.97. Queen size hybrid mattress, just $2.98. Go to LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com for more details. Watch Mondays on Everyday Kentucky for the BOGO Mondays Deal of the Week. Buy one, get one free at restaurants, spas, detailing, and more. Sign up at WKYT.HalfOffDeal.com for deals delivered directly to your inbox. BOGO Mondays on Everyday Kentucky. Because I have both Medicaid and Medicare, I got a special Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare. It's called DSNP. That's D-S-N-P. And it stands for Dual Eligible Special Needs Plan. Ah, uh, my grandson, it's my boy. Hey, Grandma. And a WellCare DSNP comes with a whole lot of these. As in, WellCare gives me benefits I can use every day. And real human support. And answers I can understand. And I get benefits like $0 copays on prescriptions. And a WellCare Spendables debit card to pay for things like dental, utilities, and groceries. I can even use it to pay at the pump for gas. And... That means a WellCare DSNP provides what I need when I need it. And that gives me the confidence I need to get through every day. The coverage you need and more. Call today or visit wellcareyes.com to see if you qualify for more benefits. Live, local, trusted. Follow WKYT News on Facebook. Welcome back to WKYT. Why a weekend nap is good for your heart. And how climate change could damage the safety of our food. Michael George has the details in this Better Living report. Climate change may lead to a rise in foodborne illnesses. That's the findings of a study published by the American Society for Microbiology. They found that increased humidity is making it easier for the salmonella bacteria to thrive on plants. Salmonella already affects 1.2 million people in the U.S. annually. Heart experts say there's an important medical check that's often being neglected. New research from Poland shows measuring your lipoprotein levels can help prolong your life. Lipoprotein levels are determined by genetics, and they can show whether you're at risk for heart attack, stroke, or other cardiovascular diseases. Doctors say routinely checking those levels could help catch diseases early. If you catch up on sleep on the weekends, it turns out you're helping lower your risk of heart disease. A study by the European Society of Cardiology found people who don't get enough sleep during the week but get more sleep on the weekends had a 19% lower chance of heart disease. Ideally, though, doctors say you should get at least seven hours of sleep every night. Those are some of the day's top health stories. Michael George, CBS News.
You getting seven hours of sleep every night? What? <laughs> what is that? That sounds amazing. <laughs> right? Meteorologist Alexa Mitten's tracking the next big thing. Well, folks, I know a lot of us are fans of that summertime sizzle, but we've got today before we start to see things switch up. At the moment, we can already see some of that warmth still pushing up past Kentucky into parts of Indiana and Ohio. But once we work through the rain that we've got on our forecast this weekend, we're going to allow ourselves to introduce in some cooler air tumbling back down towards that fall like feel. It's going to push from a cold pool down in Canada and while our friends in the Northeast will get really chilly, we're expecting temperatures in the upper 70s, low 80s for our high temperatures, which will feel a lot different than that summertime sizzle that we're dealing with today. So for now, this big fall like feel rolling in parts of next week is your next big thing. Victor and Destiny. Thanks, Alexa. Up next, food, games and football. We break down the rules to tailgating at Kroger Field ahead of UK's home opener.